All right, so in this example, I'm just going to do another, another problem of taking these compound inequalities and writing this in interval notation. So now um, the difference between this and maybe some of the other examples is we've got, we've, we have to think of all numbers that are where x is greater than 4 and at the exact same time, those numbers have to be less than or equal to 0. So you know, think about what numbers satisfy that. So, but again, just kind of mechanically, what I do is I make a number line, and when I see the word and, it says um, only keep uh, those numbers sort of in the, I'll say the overlap between these, uh, these two inequalities. So the first inequality, it says x has to be greater than 4, so I'll put 4 over here. Since it's not equal to it, we'll put a little open circle. But anything greater than that works, so I'm going to shade everything to the right, all the way out to infinity. And then x less than or equal to 0, so here's 0. Since it can equal 0, I'll shade it in. And then we use everything to the left of it, all the way out to negative infinity. So now I think, okay, when I, when I wrote these two inequalities, the first inequality hits the stuff on the right, the other inequality was the stuff on the left. I think, what x values were shared? You know, did I, did I shade any numbers twice? And in this case, the answer is no. There's nothing that is shaded twice. So what it means is, it means there are no numbers that satisfy these inequalities. And think about it, you know. What number is bigger than 4 and at the same time less than 0? Well, there's not any. The way we write uh, the solution set when, we, when, we, uh, when there's nothing that works, it almost looks like a 0, but it's not quite. It stands for the empty set. We just make a little O, and we just put a little line through it. So basically this says, hey, when you see this symbol, it says there's nothing at all that satisfies the original, uh, the original inequalities.